everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you. Once again, welcome back to Mob on TV. This is episode number three, a guitar lesson featuring some licks from Jimmy Page. Now, a lot of guitar players out there kind of pick on Jimmy a bit in terms of his technique not being perfectly clean. But let's look at all the great things that he did. His vibe is unbelievable. He constructed the greatest rock and roll band that the world has ever seen, and no one's ever come close to that. He's also written all the songs and produced all the records, and all the imagery is all his idea too. So let's cut him some slack. Let's dive into this lesson. Okay, the first riff that we're going to work with is in the key of A, and it's a really famous riff that's inside the Heartbreaker solo. So again, we're using an A minor pentatonic, and we're also in standard tuning. I'll play the scale for you real quick. <laughs> So the lick goes like this. I'll play it slow for you. Interesting part of adding a couple of notes to the pentatonic. In this case, the B note on the seventh fret and the seventh fret also on the B string. And you've heard this in a faster succession in the solo, but it's even cool to use it in a slower pace. Then Page in the Heartbreaker solo moves that riff up to uh, a step and a half higher. while still over the key of A. Even though we're moving up to really the C position of it. Really cool riff. You can continue to keep using it over a, an A progression. You could venture into that C against the A. And you can even resolve it from a little bit from last week's lesson in the Eric Clapton of using the minor pentatonic to get back down to the root note like this. Eighth fret B, 10th fret B, sliding on the G, ninth fret to seventh fret, back to fifth fret, quarter step bend, and back to the root note, seventh fret D. It's always nice to end with the root note to resolve it with vibrato as well. So let's look at that whole passage. I'm also using a pull-off too. You could pick them. Or you could pull off on the E string. to the C position. Working your way down the minor pentatonic in the key of A. So let's put it together. Okay, the second riff we're going to check out is uh, during a minor blues progression. And for this particular example, it comes from Since I've Been Loving You from Led Zeppelin 3. So we're going to put it in the key of A minor, even though Since I've Been Loving You isn't. But uh, we're just using this for a demonstration purpose. So key of A minor. But during the four chord, which would be D minor in a blues progression. Jimmy does something really cool for the four chord. I also took it and put it in one of my recent videos in a song called uh, Worth the Live, and it's a live version that I just released. So I borrowed that riff from Jimmy Page because I loved it so much. So during the four chord, so it'd be D minor, he uses the minor third from the D minor uh, uh, chord and adds it like this.
So if you're in, again, an A minor blues progression, when the four chord comes up, it's a really cool way to accent that chord change during the four chord. So slower. Faster. And then from there, if you want to resolve back to the A, another cool little lick you can add. Getting us back to the root by using more notes from the actual minor scale, not just the pentatonic. So, four chord. Again. Back to the one. Again, all this will be in tablature at the end of the lesson, so you can freeze the frame if you need to read it. Okay, the third lick. So, incorporating some of the first idea, the first riff of this one. We're going to incorporate that same phrasing with the second lick, even though it's a minor riff. So we're going to essentially put those two together. So in a blues progression, on the one chord, when it goes to the four chord, in this case D9, we can go... So it's taking the, the phrasing from the first one, but using on the uh, on the second part of the riff, using that flat up note for the four chord, and then resolving back to the root. However, you want to do that. So I'll do it slow. more page-like stuff, you can use that unison bend, bend at the same time. Fast. cool licks from a super cool guitar player, Jimmy Page. And of course, Jimmy Page is not just a guitar player, he's a musician and a producer and everything else under the sun. The guy is so talented, and thank God that we have him in this world. Next week, episode number four, Eric Johnson. We'll see you then.